I am back with another video of albums I've missed in 2023. These are the albums I haven't actually um, done a videos on because I did do my top albums of the month, but I haven't done them in a while. So let's just give you a rundown of some albums, starting with the latest Marduk. Marduk just came out with a bloody banger. Memento? Memento? Memento Mori. There you go. I like the art. It's very white. <laughs> very interesting art. Uh, very different for them. Uh, it kind of stands out, but I enjoy it. This album's killer. This album is so furious and intense. It kind of reminds me back to like the Plague Angel, Nightwing, Panzer Division stuff. Obviously not quite as furious or intense as some of them. But it still packs a punch, and the melodies are so good, and it even has some like cool like bells chiming in the music to give it more of like an atmosphere. Some weird chants and speaking sections to then power through into the actual song itself. Really cool transitions, really cool songs, heavy as hell, and I I adore it. I think this album is one of the best black metal albums of the year. Instantly better than Victoria, like miles better than Victoria. I love this album. I'm going to have to redo Martu ranking because a lot of things have changed, aside from my number one. That's the clear-cut winner. But yeah, a lot of things have changed. This album is fantastic. Love the ferocity. It completely took me by surprise. I thought it was going to be another Victoria situation where I was kind of like, eh, but no, this this is killer. This is going high in my ranking for them again. Really enjoyed it. And yeah, Marduk's Memento Mori. Fucking banger. Go listen to it. Next up, I haven't talked about Blute Aus Nord, one of my favourite bands, which was my album of the year last year, with Disharmonium, Undreamable Abysses, and now we have another album in the trilogy, I'm assuming, Disharmonium Nahab, which is <sighs> somehow more terrifying and more dark and evil than the predecessor. How is that possible? The last one was literally Nightmare Fuel, H.P. Lovecraft, Tentacle Demons coming to rape you. This is even worse. This is actually more terrifying. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. There's more darkness monsters coming to just snuff you out in the night rather than tentacle monsters. It's unsettling, keeps the same atmosphere, keeps the same just weird, creepy energy that they've been doing. And I love Blue House Nord. They've got so many different sounds and styles that it's just... If you say you don't like them, go listen to another album. Because they've got like industrial albums with elements and like avant-garde and even dancey parts in some albums with the 777 trilogy you then have like the atmospheric trilogy with memoria vetusta which is beautiful you then got the icy cold pitch black ultima Thule. It, now you've got nightmare fuel stuff and you had a hallucinogen which was a really nice calming space trip and then you got these nightmare fuels such a versatile band. I love Blue House Nord. One of my favourite bands of all time. And this album is just fan-fucking-tastic. Nahab, gonna be my end of the year list. I, I'm terrified of it. Thy Catafalque came out with another album, Alfold. I loved the previous album. Um, Vo, Vo, Vaydak? Vaydak. Yeah, not Kodak, that's cameras. Vaydak. This one I didn't like as much, but I still really enjoyed it, because they don't do anything wrong. My problem with this one compared to the last one is the last one had a lot of ebbs and flows and a lot of, like, the female singing, cool instruments. I don't know. It had a lot of variety within the music. It didn't feel monotonous. And I'm not saying this one's monotonous. I'm just saying that this one is very just heavy. <laughs> Most of the album is heavy. But yeah, for Black Milk fans, that's good. You know, for that kind of fan fans, I think the other album from two years ago or whatever had... Just more substance in it. But I still love this album. It's still going to be high on my list because it's like a fuck. And a heavy album by them is fun. And it's just... It's it's probably the heaviest album they've done. I love it. Very headbangy. Very evil. Um, I just... I just preferred Vedak. And that's my thoughts on it. You know? It's still good. I'd still give it a 7 out of 10. Maybe an 8. Because it's still a great album. But I just, again, preferred the previous one. And that's it for this little section. Speaking of heavy, Tz Judah! Definitely said that wrong. Tell me down below how you pronounce this band. Never mentioned them on the channel before, but they're a great band. They released 
Helvega? Helvega? I'm definitely going to get butchered for this. But this album's phenomenal. Oh my god, the melodies in this album, so catchy. It's heavy all the way through, um, but with really catchy riffs and really catchy melodies and vocal hooks. The vocals are so good, but I feel like guitars are just the standout here because I love every single melody on every single song. It's so fun and I need it. I need it on CD. I need it. I needs it. Fucking now. Really cool band and one that I need to do a ranking on. You know, we're going to we're going to rank every single black metal album. Every single black metal band on this channel is going to happen. Yeah, Studer, um, feels weird saying it like that, definitely got the pronunciation wrong, but fantastic band, fantastic album from this year. Now let's talk about one of my favourite albums of the whole year, one I've only just recently listened to, Tark, hey? or Tark, <laughs> however you say it. Oh boy, the latest Tark album is so damn good, oh my god, it let me let me tell you what it is. Et have av avstand. Yeah, it's just butchering everything today, Questy. The melodies in this talk album sublime. The atmosphere amazing. His vocals just beautiful. But the hypnotic nature of the riffs and the melodies within is what separates this from the others. It puts you in a trance and keeps you there, transfixed on the music the whole way through. I think this is one of his best works. I actually do. This is one of his best works. Do I like it more than the first two? I don't know. It'll be hard to say. First three. I only just recently did a ranking on them as well. But yeah, this makes it hard. This will be quite high in top four, I reckon. It'll be in the top four. Definitely better than the last couple of albums he's done. Oh, this is one of the best albums. It might be even be my favourite Black Metal album of the year. We will see. There's been a lot of good ones. Blue House Nord, as I mentioned before. Um, Enslaves, Heimdall. Oof. Yeah, there's been a lot of good ones. So I don't know yet, but it's up there. And I love the new Tark album. So let me know down below what has been your favourite black metal album of the year so far. What do you think of these albums I've mentioned before? These ones. Ooh. Let me know, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.